नमस्कार एंड वेलकम टू सरी आई क्यू आई एम योर फ्रेंड राहुल सायगांवकर द एजेंडा फॉर टूडेज डिस्कशन इज कनेक्टेड टू जोग्राफी वेयर विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड सम कॉन्सेप्ट कनेक्टेड टू मॉनसून स्पेसिफिकली विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट मॉनसून ब्रेक we already know we are in the midst of indian monsoon season for 2023 and we are currently witnessing a monsoon break this has been an elongated monsoon break and scientists have dubbed that this is because of a phenomena called el nino you can see here el nino extends mumbai's monsoon break until mid august we'll try to understand what is the meaning of this during this interaction first we'll talk about indian monsoon then we'll try to understand what is monsoon break what are the reasons for breaks in monsoon what is its significance and at the end of the discussion we'll talk about el nino the phenomena which has been responsible for a rather lengthy monsoon break this season of 2023 that is going to be the complete agenda of today's discussion to get to know all this information stay with me till the very end all right let's begin let's begin with the idea of monsoon itself now monsoon is a familiar concept we have, we all hear of monsoon every every year there is a monsoon season in india we talk of three seasons in india we say there is a summer season extremely hot season which goes on from say march approximately to may where the temperatures are quite intense then the rainy season comes which is nothing but the monsoon season which goes on from say june till september and after that we are talking about lowering of temperature that is the winter season now this rainy season it coincides with this concept of monsoon it's a climatic phenomena which is not just specific to india but i would say it is specific to entire south asian region what is the meaning of monsoon it is basically a system of wind or change in wind system which brings a lot of precipitation what is the meaning of monsoon it is a wind system which changes the precipitation levels of precipitation form in one particular area and it happens in south asian region what happens during the monsoon season it is characterized by change in the wind wind direction and a distinct rainy season meaning during the months of june till september we get extensive amount of rainfall why something is happening a wind direction is changing and wind is now blowing from the water side or sea side to the land side that is why it is bringing plenty of moisture and it is bringing plenty of precipitation as well that is the idea of monsoon it's basically a wind system which is a result of differential heating of land and water you do know that water and land because of the solar insulation because of the solar insulation they heat and they cool at differential rates and because of this gradient the wind systems run so monsoon is a change in wind pattern which leads to change in precipitation pattern that's the basic idea now what happens with india we are going to focus on indian monsoon indian monsoon season during the summer season we see that the winds are blowing in the southwestern direction that is why we call it southwest monsoon and this wind is carrying waters carrying waters from the arabian sea and the bay of bengal and they are bringing extensive rainfall in this region in india in india and in south asia as well during the summer it is a southwest monsoon that means the direction of wind is southwest but during the winter season the there is a reversal in the direction of wind and northeastern winds blow in the northeastern blowing or the northeastern winds they do not carry any water because they are moving from land towards water however there are some areas in india which receive rain even during winter season because of the north eastern monsoon we'll try to understand that in some time but i hope you have gotten a good idea about monsoon now what is the basic reason behind this monsoon i told you it's differential heating of water and land now because of this heating what happens there is a convergence zones which is formed it is called as itc zone intertropical convergence zone now if you look at if you look at earth now imagine this is globe and this is the equator now you do understand between the tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn we have a heat zone which is also called as torrid zone where the net insulation is very high the heat is high now because of this intense heating and you do understand the apparent movement of sun the apparent movement of sun is also only between these point although the sun does not move but because of the rotation of earth and revolution of earth we see 
that it seems as if the sun is moving from tropic of cancer to tropic of capricorn that means in this region intense amount of heating takes place there is excess of heat now because of this heat what is happening you know hot air it ascends there is ascending phenomena of air the the air is ascending upwards means at the ground level there is a low pressure area so this itcz it is a band i would say more or less more or less along the equator or through this equator where you have an intense low pressure zone which is located in and around the equator where the trade winds converge from both northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere but because of the distribution of land in such a way this itcz it does not exactly coincide with the equator now what happens during during the year or during the en entire season this itcz it keeps on fluctuating or moving from towards the northern side and towards the southern side if you look at itcz during the july season the intertropical convergence zone it is towards the northern side something like this and you can see this is india where there is a convergence zone if there is low pressure on the land that means the the trade winds or the winds they move towards from high pressure to low pressure they are moving towards the low pressure and and during the cooler season that is in january the itcz will move south of equator i am talking here from this point of view of india it is moving towards the southern side now what is happening what is happening because of the apparent movement of this itcz the winds they change direction when it is in the northern side that means this is a zone of intense heating this is a zone of intense heating it forms a low pressure area that means it is going to attract the winds and winds from the southern hemisphere which are moving they change the direction and we look at the southwest monsoon during the monsoon season now because of this itcz the winds are coming the winds are also bringing a lot of moisture and water from these seas which leads to cloud formation giving extensive rainfall to the mainland in india that's the basic summer rainfall now when it is winter if you look at this itcz you will see now the intertropical convergence zone it has gone towards the southern side meaning there would be a reversal of winds if it has gone towards this side that means this is the low pressure zone now and this is a high pressure zone during the winter season and that's why the wind is going to blow towards this it season which leads which leads to your northeastern northeastern winds and these northeastern winds are quite dry they do not bring any water because they are moving from land towards the sea but during their movement from the bay of bengal they capture a lot of moisture and give winter rainfall especially in tamil nadu that is the reason for the northeastern monsoon in tamil nadu now that's the basic of the monsoon and we expect that monsoon should continue right monsoon should continue according to you you think that sir if southwestern winds are coming if they are continuously blowing they'll be being they'll be bringing a lot of moisture cloud formation will take place precipitation will take place eventually but this does not happen continuously there are phenomena in indian monsoon where we see some breaks we see some breaks in the southwest monsoon period again during the monsoon season itself when i say monsoon season it runs from say june approximately to september and within this period there are intense periods of rainfall and there are breaks when there is no rainfall in india or no rainfall especially in the mainland why is this happening this happens because of the movement of itcz along the himalayas remember the monsoon break it refers to a period of rainfall where we will see no rainfall that means in some in some days during the monsoon there is intense rainfall which is called as monsoon burst and whenever there is no rainfall it is called as monsoon break right so break in the monsoon season so why does this break occur a very interesting point why does this break occur i have told you that low pressure itcz it is now if we talk about july july august it is towards the northern hemisphere side and right now it coincides more or less over india it coincides more or less along the himalayas itself but during its movement it has it has or it changes its position in a seesaw way if this is the himalayas sometimes you see that the itcz is 
towards the northern side of Himalayas, sometimes towards the southern side of Himalayas. And monsoon break occurs whenever ITCZ it moves towards the northern side of Himalayas. Now, what happens if there is there is a movement of ITCZ beyond Himalayan range? What happens? The entire rainfall or all the clouds are taken towards these hilly regions and there is extensive rainfall over the Himalayas or in the foothills of Himalayas and you do not find any rainfall in the mainland. That is the meaning of monsoon break. You see a monsoon break here in the mainland. Now you must be thinking, sir, if the southwest monsoon or the winds are running during this period, there are some western guards here and they should bring rain at least here. But there is another phenomenon. During this monsoon break, since there is a movement of IT season towards the northern side of Himalayas, then the winds, they almost blow parallel to the western coast and that's why they do not bring rain to Indian mainland or towards the Indian coastal side. They rather bring rainfall or they take the winds towards Pakistan side. That's why we see monsoon breaks. Clear? That's the idea of monsoon breaks. And right now, we are witnessing a monsoon break. Isn't it? You must have seen that I think one month back there was extensive rainfall. I hadn't seen the sunlight for almost I think two weeks, two weeks, three weeks and now for the last 10 to 15 days not even a single drop of rain is seen at least in my area. I'm quite sure in the mainland India not much of rain was seen especially from August 1st till August 10, 12, 13. That is nothing but monsoon break. What is the importance of this? Remember. Monsoon break is something that, that is being studied by a lot of scientists and they are not able to speculate or they are not, they are not able to forecast for how long monsoon would be broken or for how long we will not see any rainfall. Sometimes it goes on for days, sometimes it goes on for many weeks altogether and it has a huge impact on India. See, monsoons are connected with India towards its agriculture, to its economy, to its culture, to each and every aspect in India predominantly agriculture. Now, right now, we have sown soybean in our farm and we are waiting for rainfall. There is no rain from the last 15 days. So, if the break elongates, it affects the crops, it affects ultimately the livelihood farmers. And if it affects agriculture in an adverse way, it is going to impact adversely on Indian economy as well. Apart from this, since there is a monsoon break in the mainland, you will see that there is heavy rainfall in the foothills of Himalayas, which will lead to more and more flooding in the Himalayan states. We are witnessing that as well. I think for the last one week or so, we have witnessed so many flash floods in Uttarakhand, in Punjab, in Himachal Pradesh, in many states. This is the impact of monsoon break. And I told you, scientists have still not deciphered, I would say, the entire monsoon itself. They have not even deciphered monsoon breaks. But this year, we have seen that the monsoon break has rather elongated and scientists have given a reason for that and that is called as El Nino. El Nino, it is a complex weather phenomena which, which recurs or which occurs every few years and it has impact on Indian monsoon. Remember, El Nino, it is a complex system or a combination of two things. It involves both oceanic phenomena or oceanic circulation as well as atmospheric circulation where things are reversed for short time. I will tell you about what exactly is El Nino but remember it is oceanic as well as atmospheric phenomena which has impact on Indian monsoon. Many times we also witness it through a term called as ENSO, El Nino Southern Oscillation. El Nino is a Spanish term which is called as little boy. It basically means a phenomena where in the eastern pacific region we will witness warm waters if you see the definition the system involves oceanic and atmospheric phenomena which with the appearance of warm currents off the coast of peru in the eastern pacific now many students they do get confused so what is the meaning of eastern pacific it is talking from this perspective of pacific ocean now this is the entire pacific ocean this is the eastern side of pacific ocean this is the western side of pacific ocean please remember when I mention western side of Pacific Ocean, it is the eastern coast, eastern coast of Australia. When I say eastern Pacific Ocean, that is basically the western coast of South America. That is where many students, they get confused. Now, along 
the eastern pacific region we see that the waters would be warmer by approximately 10 degrees celsius which brings changes in circulation oceanic circulation as well as atmospheric circulation the reverse of el nino is la nina la nina little girl where situation is reversed for the last three years we had been witnessing la nina whenever there is la nina it is favorable for indian monsoon it is favorable for indian rainfall but whenever there is el nino situation where the waters are quite warm along the eastern pacific of the coast of peru by almost 10 degrees celsius it leads to changes in the atmospheric circulation it leads to irregular evaporation of sea water it also leads to reduction of amount of plankton which further reduces number of fishes in the sea meaning it has impact over the wind circulation system the oceanic circulation system and also on living organism but we are more interested about how it impacts the indian monsoon whenever there is an incident of el nino it impacts more or less on indian monsoon in three broad ways first one if it is a el nino year the monsoon onset can be delayed this year you must have seen it was delayed a little onset that means beginning of monsoon is delayed the second idea would be whenever there is el nino the amount of rainfall during monsoon would be reduced meaning deficient rainfall in india and the third one is probable longer monsoon breaks and that is what is observed this year if you look at different news snippets you will see that el nino has extended the monsoon break this year as well this year we are looking at almost 11 day dry spell when i say 11 day across indian mainland try to understand this you are thinking sir at my place i have not seen rainfall i think i have not seen rainfall for almost 20 days now at my place but throughout the mainland there were 10 to 11 days or there are 10 to 11 days when there is no rainfall that is the meaning of monsoon break a longer monsoon break on mainland and scientists have still not deciphered it sometimes Sometimes the break can be very, very long. In 1972, the monsoon break was the longest, was the longest. It was almost 47 days, almost two months. And once this happens, it is a year of deficient rainfall. This year, we have observed that 11 days, it is more or less the average number of days. Whenever the monsoon break is lesser than 11 days, we will see more rainfall. But this year, we might look at deficient rainfall. Although IMD predicts that we will get normal rainfall. But we have seen the South Mist Monsoon. It is heading towards a record dry spell because of impact of El Nino. El Nino is getting more and more stronger. And we have seen deficient rainfall in August. In August, two weeks. 1st to 14th August, we have seen a water deficit by 6% year-on-year average. Again, to make up for this, we have seen huge amount of rainfall in July. In fact, during the July month, there was almost, almost equivalent change. That means 6% more rainfall was seen. But in August, we have seen a longer monsoon break. We all are awaiting when this break will end. Let's wait and watch. If there is any update on this, We'll have a discussion on that for sure. I hope that I have made things a little clear for you from geography perspective. Again, those who are from geography options, they will have more and more extensive knowledge about this, different kinds of theories, different explanations on Indian monsoon, etc. But from GS perspective, I think this would be more than enough for you to answer questions which are connected to monsoon. Mains question can come regarding monsoon, regarding monsoon break, what is the meaning of El Nino, Enso, etc. That's the end of our discussion. If you have liked this discussion, you can always follow me on this particular idea. That is Rahul Sai 222. Now, before I head out, I have to give you a notice that we are offering P2I program, prelims to interview program, which is the most comprehensive program in the market for UPSC civil services preparation. It's available in three formats, English, Hindi and a bilingual format. The program is starting from 23rd August. Just visit our website www.studyiq.com you will get all the details do not forget to use my code rahul life thank you for watching this jai hind